Hello everyone, in this video I'm trying to show you other ways than sewing the holes that we have accidentally made or for any other reason that you know uh, we have to sew on parts of the facial skin or ears especially in some areas that skin is pretty thin and uh, basically sewing it might not be a possible way or it might be a very difficult thing to do so there are other options good news is that there are other options we can always sew but uh, I prefer use these shavings that actually came off of the skin itself every time I get any skin from the tannery I still have to shave some of them and I save some of these shavings fine shavings which is basically uh, part of the skin tanned the skin and they're flexible and they're strong enough and they're perfect so I basically um, save a whole bunch of them you can actually put them in the fridge or save them for later if you shave some of your skin and then uh, find the thin ones because some of the shavings are quite thick so for ears here as you can see I'm finding a very thin uh, shaving material and I basically put it down on the hole much bigger than the hole itself and visually uh, decide where to put the crazy glue just simply apply your crazy glue around the hole uh, slightly bigger than the size of the shaving so the whole shaving edges are glued down uh, I just use uh, regular crazy glue thin uh, basically uh, thin crazy glue or super glue because you can get them medium or thick I like to use the thin one and simply glue around the hole make sure you don't put glue into the hole and then simply apply the shavings on the hole um, with the back of your scissor or a wooden mallet or anything that you have handy just hammer it down tap it down so it stays there I know what even if your skin is a little bit moist don't worry about it just dab dry it and apply the glue it works it actually works really good on the edges too I, I believe I have a couple of holes on the edges that I'm sure it happened when we were um, peeling off the ear cartilage and I'm going to show you how it works on that one it's pretty much the same you just have to bend them the other way from outside I'll show you at the end of the video so if there is a couple of holes smaller ones side by side it can really be quite tricky to sew them especially if the ears on the other side don't have a lot of hair to cover up your sewing job so basically figure out what size you want even two three small holes side by side can all be glued at the same time with a piece of shaving material we all know that it's very frustrating to miss any of these holes and when we're moving around our ear liners with the bondo or uh, ear adhesive or any any kind of glue that you're using when it oozes out of those holes is it's just not good it's not cool it, the glue gets on the hair and everything like that so it is important to go all over the hair I'm sorry the ears and make sure that uh, if there is any little tiny holes in there just just glue them down as simple as that so I believe here we got one right yet right at the edge okay so what I'll do I'll uh, I'll cut a fairly nice size bigger than the hole a piece of shaving apply the glue right around the hole and uh, feather it out a little bit bigger than the area that the shaving is going to lay down and I simply tap it down with back of my scissors it doesn't have to be too much pressure as long as it just uh, bonds very nice and quick that's all we need that's all we need just a, uh, basically a patchwork to stop the um, ear adhesive to, to come out of the holes. This way is quite fast and uh, very satisfying too when you start doing it that way. I usually sew up 
the deer ears if there's holes unless they're on the inner um, skin so that there is little hair or no hair then my sewing would show then I'd make sure that uh, I glue those areas so this ear has been glued by my helper but still some holes are being ripped uh, from the sides uh, like close by where it's been sewn and I decided to cover up any areas that my uh, that might leak some of the glue out when we're putting the ear liners in there. Yeah, this is back of the ear right now. So there is obviously hair in there. It's not uh, it's not hard to hide your sewing on the hairy side, but still, I don't want any little gap or hole to be there in case if. Uh, we are pushing the ear liners and moving around the ear adhesive. I don't want anything to squeeze out of those holes or even the stitches. Sometimes the stitches are there holding the skin pretty good together, but there might be some areas left open between the stitches. So it doesn't hurt to actually apply one layer of uh, this shaving material right over the stitches too. I mean, don't get me wrong, if the hole is too large, you probably better stitch it up. But if they're tiny little ones and you have to, you know, um, go from one millimeter hole to another two millimeter hole right beside it, this would be the way to go. And don't worry about the edges, you can see that uh, I'm gluing them right on the edge. Uh, super glue, when it dries, it, it hardens up but uh, still pliable enough for you to work with when you push your uh, ear liners inside this skin. So what I usually do, I go all around the face and make sure if there's any other holes because there are some areas like uh, lips or eyelids. As you can see, like uh, we added a piece of leather here because uh, those folks in Africa didn't really take care of uh, the detail skinning here so basically they removed all the eyelid skin for us now we had to add some extra fine leather in there to have something to tuck and uh, like some of these holes as you can see here they're pretty difficult to sew so the best way again doesn't matter if it's on the lip or nose or eyes just find the right thickness of the ears uh, like the uh, shaving material and cut it to the size and apply a little bit of a super glue and you'll be done. <clears throat> this pretty much sums it up for this video. Hopefully you like this trick and uh, we will see you next week with some more videos. Please um, hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe for more videos. Uh, it's summertime. I'm quite busy but I'm trying to still um, stay on top of the videos. Family needs uh, some time I need some time for myself but again you know um, projects are being done in the shop and the camera is always on so we're gonna create more videos for you anyway thank you very much guys for stopping by and uh, watching the video we will see you next week hopefully with some more bird videos you never know maybe I just post another video this week before the end of the week okay see ya bye